Wow. So I'm not even too sure if you guys can hear me because the wind is flying in and around me right now. Just like trying to keep warm. Didn't bring a hat, that was dumb. Yes, I'm tired. Does it look like I'm tired? Because I am. Yes, you're right. There's just a couple things I want to talk about. One being... In connection with the darkness, um, stuff that I've been reading on and the importance of sleep, the importance of um, darkness being awake in darkness, the importance of looking at the stars and spending time with the stars in some way, in some form of connection. Um, uh, my brother recommended a documentary. I will link it below. It's called Resonance. It's mostly about um, Okay, I'm gonna try to not get distracted anymore, but the winds are just so loud. Um, it's mostly about radiation and how it's affecting um, human beings and it's creating cancer and uh, yeah, the effects of our cell phones, the cell towers. Um, there's a lot of different like scientific studies that are explored in this in this little not little. It's like an hour and a half documentary. Anyway, towards the end, they start talking about. I really hope you can hear me. So it's talking about towards the end about melatonin, which most of us probably have heard of. It's it's called the the darkness. Uh, the sleep hormone and um, it cannot be it does not start to be created in our body unless we are in darkness and so this also includes artificial light our body cannot tell the difference between um, sunlight and artificial light in this instance and so it just kind of was really cool to see that connection then adds another layer to what I've been talking about um, or maybe what I haven't even shared here I can't seem to remember where I share certain things but it just adds another layer to this idea of um, star bathing and the importance of getting outside in nature in darkness all I'm trying to say is that I feel like it's justifying this creation and this thing that I'm trying to really fully understand the importance of, um, both on like a personal but also a scientific and factual level. So I just was really excited about that and I wanted to share that little um, resource with you, I guess. Um, and then also just recognizing the polarity within my own choices and um, you know, I, I spend a lot of time on line and um, trying to spread the message in some way of, you know, getting outside and the importance of nature connection and, you know, barefooting and being sustainable and now this star bathing stuff. And so I just want to acknowledge that, you know, there's a, there's a lot of polarity in my life in that regard. and. Um, also in regard to um, you know being really health conscious and you know I choose to be vegan and plant-based and not eat um, animals and I you know choose to only put plants and fruits and grains and legumes in my body and uh, you know but there's so many other factors also to health one being self-care how are you taking care of yourself how are you eliminating the amount of stress that you have in your life? How are you at least diminishing it as much as possible? Are you uh, going to yoga once a week if that really helps you? you know, I think I tend to focus a lot on health and that's I think a lot to do with how I was raised and it's branched out so much but that seems to be the one thing that I'm really good at maintaining. Obviously, it's been a part of my life for so long, so um, I don't have to think about it the same way as, as other choices. 
But with that documentary, they were also talking about cell phones and um, the radiation. And so I'm really just trying to figure out how to balance my life. Um, and I think we all are. You know, I, I want to be as healthy as I can be, but I also recognize the power of the internet and being able to be reached and being able to respond almost instantaneously to someone or something on the internet is really powerful. Um, we have instant access to knowledge and so more than anything I think with this platform and going forward I just want to be transparent about you know I don't have anything figured out. Um, the the more time I spend spend on the earth and with other people and out here in nature, the more I I just have questions and I feel like I find answers to some and some I just, you know, let go and let live as questions in my life that likely will never be answered. But but I think there's this idea that um, you know, maybe if you're making videos that you have it all figured out. And um, to a certain extent, I do feel like I have, uh, I've been gifted a lot of things and I've also been able to um, use those gifts in a, in a productive way, I guess, is, is all I'm trying to say. And that I, I value transparency more than anything. When I think about the people that I like to watch, um, I like to see people who are honest and real about their experience, um, no matter what they're going through. And so that's what I'm going to try to be doing more so. And coming up soon, I just went through a whole documentary course because I'm hoping and planning to create a documentary. But. This next course that I'll be going through over the next probably three or four days is probably about 10 hours of um, lecturing and it's all about Final Cut Pro and editing and so um, I'm going to be exploring that avenue a little bit more. I, I tend to kind of try to balance myself and um, right now I'm just feeling really empowered to tell stories, tell my story, tell other people's stories, figure out how I can incorporate that into my life more because it's something I'm really passionate about and um, ultimately that might be uh, that might be more of the direction in terms of professionally where I go. Like I love doing forest therapy walks and I see star bathing as this massive thing with a lot of potential and I know it will succeed and I see, you know, writing my story as an awesome thing. But I think ultimately, if I had a choice, I would choose to create stories, create, uh, yeah, so there's branches that are falling down around me and I think it's probably about time that I stop recording because uh, safety is key. Um, anyway, I thank any of you guys who actually listened through the, the wind and um, I look forward to sharing more with you. If you have uh, questions or comments, you can leave them below. If you find anything interesting, subscribe that now it's just below and uh I'll talk to you guys for some more interesting videos I hope